Oui. Des morceaux. Ok. So we will try to to make short breaks to to give some French uh, during your introduction. And, uh, Very good. So here is uh, Bill, Bill Bill Brown to. Um, who will introduce the, the film and uh, uh, made uh, uh, an important work of uh, preservation and restoration on the on, on the, the film, which is a whole story in itself. And uh, that perhaps you you, you want to, to tell us about. So thank you, Arno, for uh, inviting me and Katie to be um, part of this act, uh, Act 3. Uh, I am sorry I cannot uh, speak French well enough to present in, in, in French. So uh, I will do my best. Uh, five or six years ago, Arno showed me a DVD of a 1974 Super 8 film of Hesse by Mithya Kolasar. The film appeared to be mostly abstract, with veils of graphic texture obscuring images of Hesse posing and performing. Arnaud knows that I am an experienced film preservationist and asked if, I, uh, if there was anything that could be done to improve the quality image on the DVD. At first I thought the graphic effects were intentional, but Arnaud learned that the film had been damaged in a flood and that it was water that had created the, the abstraction. So I volunteered to try to take a look at the copy of the DVD and I brought that to my studio to see if I could improve the image. Maybe you want to translate, and uh, perhaps you can explain where you got the, the DVD, I know. So, uh, the, the DVD was uh, brought to me by uh, Amarant, I think, uh, by uh, Essie's uh, daughter, and it, it, was, it belonged in uh, Essie's uh, archives, uh, the DVD. Uh, so, that came uh, through, through the family. Um, so it's, it's okay, we can continue. Okay. Uh, a year or so after this, Arnaud wrote that he had found the actual Super 8 film, and he sent that to me. Now, you, where did you get that film from? So it's also a film which was uh, in, the, in the archives of the, of the Hesse's family. It's the same uh, origin. Very good. Well, because I'm very interested in Hesse, and because I'm happy to be part of Arnaud's gallery and to do anything with him, uh, I used my own resources and time to make a high-resolution scan of the Super 8 film and produced a much improved video. The water damage textures were still evident in the improved version, uh, but they made the colors more vibrant and made the images of Hesse more visible. And we were very pleased. Uh, and I think, Arno, you showed the film some? So the, the, the film was uh, shown a, a lot of time, I must say, and it, it seemed to be almost the official film of, uh, of Essie, and uh, it became uh, quite famous, even in, in this uh, strange condition. <clears throat> Just this year, Arnaud obtained another Super 8 print of the film, but this one was not damaged by a flood. So we started again, and uh, scanned the film and began what turned out to be an adventure collaborating to restore the film and resolve several problems uh, and discrepancies between the two film prints. Now, did this film also come from the, 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 from the family archive? Um, this film came from uh, the, the, in French we say Les Endroits of uh, Mithya Colessar, uh, the, the person who owns uh, the, the, the right to, uh, the not the estate, but uh, something like that. And uh, perhaps 
perhaps I should say um, that uh, this, this film also uh, has, a, has a first uh, uh, story be before we, we met him, because it was shown at his uh, 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 solo exhibition in uh, the Modern Art Museum of Paris in 1975. It was also shown in, uh, in her uh, solo show in, uh, in Sweden, in, uh, uh, what's the name of this museum? Uh, she had a solo show in, uh, uh, in Sweden, and it was, it was shown, sorry, I, I, I forgot the name just now. And uh, also in, the, in New York, apparently, it was uh, shown uh, in, uh, in the States, uh, probably during the, the show that uh, Aline Dallier organized at the IA, IAR IAR Gallery in, uh, I think, 1976, six, if I'm not wrong. And so, uh, but it, it happened that uh, not, none of those places, Lund, the place in Sweden is Lund, Lund. And none of those places has kept any uh, archive of this film. So uh, the, the film seemed to be like a legend before, uh, before we, we got uh, any relation to it. And uh, so that's, that was a short uh, pre-introduction, sorry. That's great. <laughs> well, the undamaged print that was unaffected by the flooding um, has a different soundtrack than uh, the first print. The first print features a poetic associative soundtrack in English with Hess's voice, but the undamaged print has a similar but different text in French with Mythia's voice. <coughs> Reconciling the two versions was complicated by the fact that the voices were recorded on each film at different speeds and each film was scanned to digital at yet other different speeds. Oh. All this meant that the films didn't line up when played together. It also meant that the voices played at the wrong speed, at the wrong pitch. It made Hesse sound like, like an old woman or a man uh, in one, at one point, I think. I can't remember which one it was. Um, Here's a short video where I adjusted the speed of the, of the image so that the two versions play together. And you can compare the images uh, of the flood damaged version with those of the undamaged film. And you can see that the, the damaged one is very beautiful, but it's not really the film that, that they made. In the nation. So that's the end? That's the end. It's very short. And there are, there are sections in, in the whole film where you can barely see any of the underlying image. And there are very few sections that are, that are uh, unaffected by the, the water damage. But with the new uh, undamaged film, Arnaud found a company in Paris to scan the the, the undamaged Sebrae film, and he sent the digital file to me in New York. Comparing the two films, I discovered that the undamaged film has a whole section that is missing from the damaged film. And the damaged film itself has a few seconds of image missing from the undamaged film, so they didn't exactly line up. So even after adjusting uh, and matching the speed, it was still a challenge to match, in the two, match the two soundtracks to the picture. 
Further challenging was that the sound originally was recorded on both films in very poor quality. And it's hard to understand either Hesse's English or Mithia's French. Now, I'm just guessing here because I don't really know and I'm not sure anybody does. But I'm imagining that Hesse and Mithia made the film together, even though the film is officially directed by Mithia and Hesse is officially the subject. I suspect that together they decided what to shoot, that Mithia edited the footage, and that Hesse wrote or improvised the soundtrack recording directly onto the film print while projecting the film. Then I'm imagining, too, that um, Mithia recorded the French version, more or less following Hesse's English text, but translating to French and improvising her own interpretation of Hesse's poetic and evocative words. So even after I did an audio remix to make the words and sounds clearer so you could hear them better, we thought it would be best to make subtitles in English and French for both versions. And this led to a fascinating collaboration between myself and Arnaud of deciphering and translating the words we heard in French and English. Sometimes Mithia's French um, uh, phrases helped us understand Hesse's English phrases, and sometimes it was the other way around. Eventually, we came to better understand the words in both languages and the relationship to the images. In the end, we made four versions of the film. Hesse Survival Trance in English with English subtitles, Hesse Survival Trance in English with French subtitles, Hesse Transperservi in French with French subtitles, and Hesse Transperservi in French with English subtitles. Now recording, re recounting our restoration journey is interesting, but it doesn't really give a sense of the powerfully beautiful and meaning content of their film. But hopefully the restoration allows us to better experience Hesse's evocation of existential questions, musings on time, invisibility, anonymity, diaspora, nature, and graphic expression. Tonight we will show Hesse's survival trance, Hesse survival trance in English with French subtitles, and immediately following the film, Katie will perform a painting inspired by Hesse and Mithia's film and by Hesse's work in general. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Thank you.